Sure, we do have some rain on the way in, so I'll hand things over to Colleen Campbell in the Weather Center now. Colleen, when is we can expect that rain to come in? Well, Aaron, depends on where everybody is. Right now, some of our northern zones, they're seeing the rain currently, although it has been light for most of the time. Every now and again, you do see a quick little downpour through the area in those northern areas. Here in Tyler, a couple of you could run into some raindrops if you are out for tonight. Here's a live view just outside of our studios at the Troop N Loop 323. You can see right now that uh, the roads look pretty dry, but again, we are catching some raindrops on the radar. Here's the wider picture. So most of this is just above our area, moving through Oklahoma, portions of northern Texas, and uh, trying to sink down into our region, although it has been a very slow moving frontal boundary. So a little bit closer here. Again, you can see those yellows, darker greens, indicating that sometimes a faucet turns on a little bit higher, getting a better pace at this rain. Let's go in even closer here. You can see just south of Mount Pleasant around Pittsburgh, Currently, a nice little pour going on in that region. So this is setting up the trend that we will enter into for tomorrow. Hit or miss rain, heavy at times possible. So watch for flooding, even though we don't have any flood threat. Currently, the ground has been so dry, and sometimes the ground just can't keep up when it hasn't seen a lot of rain. Uh, forecasted overnight temperatures, so waking up tomorrow morning, again, a big mix. Varying temperatures up north. You guys will likely be in the mid-40s, but then down in deep east Texas tomorrow morning. You guys will start off in the mid 50s. Forecasted highs also a big difference. Northern zones obviously cooler in the mid to upper 40s. Central areas here around Tyler and the surrounding region low to mid 50s. Even some upper upper 40s squeezed in there. And then deep east Texas, you guys will be the mildest depending on when that rain arrives and if you see any sunshine. Although the skies should turn pretty overcast and gray for tomorrow. Speaking of that, here's the bus stop for forecast for those kiddos 53 as they head out to the bus stop generally some areas a pinch milder or cooler you'd want to pack the uh, rain coat or rain uh, umbrella and that's for heading home too temperatures will also be in the lower 50s so temperatures won't change much throughout the day for tomorrow you can see those rounds of rain that move through the region this is 11 a.m. or so going into about noon and then going into the second half of the day around three four five o'clock it starts to sink down into our deep east Texas areas. The areas up north will begin to dry out, but those clouds will be pretty stubborn. In fact, the cloud cover could hang out until Thursday morning. Next three days, umbrella cast brought to you by East Texas Professionals. 30% chance for tonight. Tomorrow, 80% chance. And for Thursday, 20% mainly for deep east Texas. Seven-day forecast brought to you by Baylor Scott & White. Tomorrow, our temperatures, again, not changing much here from start to the middle of the day to the end of the day will pretty much be in those cooler, damp 50s. Thursday, 44 for the, over, uh, for the morning temperature, 56 for the daytime high. Friday, a little bit milder for that daytime high, but that's after a brisk morning with temperatures in the upper 30s, lower 40s. This weekend looks great.